Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you my current Amazon favorites. I'm really excited about this stuff because for a couple reasons, I feel like um, I've just had really good luck on Amazon lately. I found some really great accessories, I would say. These things are mostly fashion based or you know jewelry, sunglasses, that kind of stuff. Um, but they're just like a couple key pieces that I feel like really help to like update my look and they're also just very luxe feeling. Things that you would never guess I paid an Amazon price point for. Now that I'm 34, I also feel more drawn to things that are just higher quality. I don't want to pay a lot of money for them though, that's the thing. It's a conundrum. <laughs> The first item I actually took right off my feet. Um, they are so cozy and comfortable. They are these slippers here. And let me tell you, I absolutely love these slippers so much. I honestly think about it every time I put them on, how much I love them. Um, they're comfortable, they're soft. Even this, like the sole of them is really, really ultra plush and soft. I ended up ordering these because I had a bit of a slipper fail. At the beginning of the pandemic and quarantine and everything, I think I, like many other people, decided I need to update my cozy, comfortable at-home wardrobe and also make myself feel a little bit better by getting something a little frivolous. So I ended up ordering these, these just raggedy old slippers. They didn't look like this when I ordered them. <laughs> they don't look as bad on camera as they do in person, but they're just like really dirty and gross, honestly. This is like super embarrassing. I felt like those turned into Swiffers more than they were actual slippers. Again, those are from Nordstrom. These are from Amazon. And they had a bit of a thicker sole on them. So it's like really good support and very cushiony for people who, again, are just sort of walking around doing stuff all day in the house. They've held up really well and they have a little bit of height to them. Those were directly on the floor. So the sole's thicker, so you have some height, so the fur isn't like, you know, dragging on the on the floor all day. I'm already considering getting a second color. I just absolutely love them, and honestly, they're a bit more my style. So the next item are these 90s inspired claw clips. And it's funny because it really makes you feel like a special kind of old when you're around for a trend the second time it hits. You know what I mean? So I love these so much. The colors are amazing. This one is my favorite. This like swirly, creamy tone one is so, so beautiful. It's kind of like a little pearly. It's really, really pretty. The one thing is they're a bit smaller. So, you know, if you have really thick hair, probably not gonna be able to fit all your hair up into like a full twist in the back. With these, you might want something a bit bigger or rounder. I can make it work. I just kind of have to like finagle it a little bit, but it definitely works. I've done it many times. And for just like a half up, half down, it's the perfect size. Absolutely perfect. And because they're so grippy, you know, they're really gonna stay put in there. So I actually really love these. The other hair product that I wanted to recommend to you guys, I ordered these like a little while ago. So they're kind of dispersed around my house. I tried to find as many as I could, but they're um, just these like kind of little, you know, tortoise or like pink. They're like the trendy big hair breaths that you always see on Instagram. I originally ordered these with the intention of doing one of those little stacked clip looks. And then I realized it didn't look great on me. And I was like, mm, can't do it. Um, but so then I really fell in love with these just because when I do a messy bun, it's like the perfect size clip to just pop in the back of your head to hold up the little short pieces in the, um, in the back of your bun. And I honestly just love them for that. Like I know that seems so silly, but they really are just like a cute little, little pop of color and it kind of like makes it look more purposeful instead of like just sticking a regular old bobby pin back there or something like that. It kind of adds a little bit of style in there. So I really love these a lot. I'm actually wearing the next thing I wanted to show you, these little earrings here. I have probably not gone a day like every time I actually get dressed and put real clothes on, I'm wearing these earrings. I love that these just little delicate kind of like kind of chunky but small earrings are in style. I really, really love them. I feel like they're very classic and I love gold jewelry. It's all I ever wear. I ordered these back in October. So I've been wearing them for three, four, going on four months. I haven't noticed any sign of tarnishing or color changing or anything like that. I believe these also come in a couple different colors and sizes. 
and then these I absolutely love too. So these are really lightweight and they're a bit bigger. Um, they're not like the full huge hoop, but they're still, you know, pretty big. They give you that look and, and they're thick and chunky and really, really pretty. They just look so luxe. I love these and they're a good size. It's not like a huge hoop earring that's gonna get caught on stuff or that my son is gonna rip out of my ear. You know, it's still small enough to where it feels wearable. And I really just think these are really fun. Again, they feel luxe. And I almost forgot to show you the next thing because it's so tiny. Uh, can you guys see this little ear cuff? here. Um, so this came in a pack of two from Amazon originally and I was so proud of myself. I hung on to both of these little teeny tiny ear cuffs for so long and then finally I did end up losing one and it's not because it like it's really secure. I don't think it fell out of my ear at all. I'm pretty sure I just took them both out and like set them somewhere and then lost it. <laughs> but I believe they have little teeny tiny I think that's cubic zirconia little teeny tiny pieces along it so it looks like a real like actual nice piece of jewelry again i wear these every day and it has yet to tarnish or show any kind of color change at all let me see if i can get it back in when you have the two i think i'm going to order another pack because when you double them up it kind of gives a cool look or you can put one down here one up top whatever you want to do and it gives you the look of you know that on trend lots of piercing look without the holes so next up are sunglasses. So this pair I ordered and I really love so much. They kind of just work with every single outfit ever. And they're, you know, just a good, like I feel like I'm, I'm stylish or something when I wear these. And they're kind of like a tortoise shell, but they're kind of like, they're hard to describe. I'm not really good at describing sunglasses, but I really like them. I have a big head, so I kind of need like big sunglasses. They need to be wide and or yeah, like wide enough this way to fit my head. And these do. Um, they also, what I like about them is the lens actually, like the frame doesn't start where normal frames start. The lens kind of comes all the way out to the edge. So the frame is actually behind the lens. And it's just a bit of a different look, which I like. I remember in the reviews, People were saying that they're bad quality and stuff like that. I really don't agree. Like they're a little like kind of stiff, the clothes, but at the same time, I don't like a loosey goosey sunglass either. Cause I know that I'm just gonna like, it's gonna t get way too loose and look uneven on my face eventually or just break. So I don't feel like they're bad quality. I really enjoy them. And um, these are the ones that I reach for the most when I do leave the house. Moving on to these, now these, listen, I feel like I am just not that girl that takes risks with my sunglasses. Like I've always wanted to be that girl and I've tried, but it's just not me. So these are a great way to feel like your fashion blogger, <laughs> but also not look crazy, not look too crazy. You know, they're like high fashion, but it's still, you don't look like you're trying too hard, I don't feel. Happy medium between trendy and also wearable. So they're kind of like this narrow shape. Oh, and they come in a set of two. You get the black pair and the tortoise shell. And I do love tortoise shell very much, as you probably picked up on. Okay, so they're like the narrow, long, skinny ones. I feel like I have seen a lot of fashion girls on Instagram wearing these and probably guys as well. Uh, but you know, just kind of like chic, right? Right? It's kind of cute. I mean, again, I'm not like the trendy frames are just not really anything that I ever feel like I can pull off. But these, I feel like I can pull these off. And then the actual black pair and the lens on these have a little bit of a blue tint. So these are very, you know, jet setting. We're jet setting. We're not going anywhere. It's a pandemic. The car hard hats. Okay. I love who doesn't love a car hard hat these days? We're all walking around like we work on a job site or something. It's silly, but you know what? They keep your head warm. They look cool. It works. I feel like the camel, like the classic Carhartt color camel hat that I ordered from Amazon was so much softer than the other one that I got, which was kind of like a heather tone color. It really felt very acrylic-y, but I still really like it. But what I like about the Carhartt hats is my husband can wear them, I can wear them, interchangeable. I'm gonna probably get some uh, some for my son as well, like kid sizes, um, cause it's just so cute. They're just so cool looking. So 
I've officially jumped on that bandwagon. And then also, this one is a little bit crazy. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts for suggesting this because this, is, this isn't um, one of the more affordable items on the list. This is, I think, $45 for a Beauty Blender Pro Solid Soap. Now I've been using, I think I've had this since 2019, I believe I went back in my history and checked when I ordered this, so that's a while ago. It's 2000, this is fall, life is falling apart. It's 2021, guys, if you didn't know. Um, so it's been a couple years since I've ordered this and also kind of due to the fact that I just use less brushes, my makeup, routine has pared down significantly, so I'm not using a ton of new brushes every single day. I am a little bit grosser than I used to be, like I'll reuse brushes for longer now. Um, I just don't have time, I just don't have time to clean brushes all the time. You know, it's really kind of a time consuming thing. So anyway, this is a really great soap to get your brushes clean, sparkling clean, it keeps them nice and soft. I've used other brands of soap and I feel like it kind of make, can sometimes make the bristles a little bit hard and scratchy and then it'll irritate my eyes. This keeps your brushes in really good condition, nice and soft. I lost the lid, that's why I'm holding it like this. Um, but it is the Blender Cleanser Solid Pro, so it's by Beauty Blender. Now originally this, like if you get the individual sizes that are much thinner and much smaller, they come in a smaller size, I think they're about $15 each. So this is $45, but you get a ton of product. And in the smaller sizes, it comes with this like pink silicone piece that I honestly don't even know why. It's like you're supposed to sit your beauty blender on top of that to dry, but really it just takes up a ton of space in the packaging and you get less soap. So it's like, why, why are they doing that to us? I don't really know. Um, so this one just comes with a ton of actual soap in it and it lasts forever and it's just easier to order one big bulk chunk of soap than a ton of small ones. And I used to do that because I really do love this soap. I do think it, it is the best for cleaning your brushes and now I just kind of spring a little bit more money for the bigger size and it works out so much better in the end. It's just easier to work with because it's bigger and it works really well. I highly recommend this. Now if you guys have something else that works really well to clean your brushes, let me know because I would love to find a cheaper alternative. I've tried a lot of things over the years um, and that one I just, I just end up always going back to. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some good recommendations in today's video. I was honestly really excited to film this because of how much I've been loving all these products and these, these little items. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.